morning squad how is everyone doing today and welcome to another vlog can you tell i just woke up <laughs> it's about eight ish and i'm making a grilled cheese i made a grilled cheese with ham and onion once again like i did a couple days ago and i got a coffee got a coffee with peppermint mocha creamer from international delight So good. I conquer the day with a grilled cheese. And I'm not sure what else I'll be doing for today. We always figure things out, right? We always do. And talking to you guys, today is cold in Chatham once again. A lot more snow than, than what we had gotten these past couple months. So I'm super glad. Here's my grilled cheese. Looking good. Look at that. I'm gonna be ending a 13 hour fast. I normally do 13 hours now. I used to do 16 hours, but I thought let's start small, especially when you don't do fast that often, you definitely wanna start very slow. Like a 13 hour fast is perfect, so I'm feeling hungry. Today, I do have yesterday's vlog I have to edit. I didn't edit it yesterday. I normally edit the vlog the night before, but uh, I was so tired, I just went to bed. So I woke up. Let's eat grilled cheese, and then we're going to edit yesterday's vlog. Uh, we'll find something interesting to vlog throughout the day. I mean, there's certain products. I did film the actual Pop-Tart review, the Pop-Tart Bites. I think I mentioned this yesterday. It's the onions that uh, does a huge difference. The onions and the grilled cheese makes it so flavorful. I did release a couple TikToks yesterday. So if you guys haven't yet checked out my TikTok, all links will be in the description. Definitely recommend you guys check out my TikTok. I post almost a lot of like reviews letting you guys know new things like instagram but in video i do on instagram i just post the things that i find in grocery stores on tiktok i mainly just post the videos of explaining the actual product it's a cold one today <laughs> like i love cold but not too cold this is a little too cold for my uh, for my liking. Often in my CB12 review mug that you guys can get at teesprings.com slash store slash channel number 12. Get them now. Oh, nice mocha flavor, nice peppermint flavor. I love International Delight. International Delight has to be one of my favorite creamer brands. Let me know also in the comment section below on what is your favorite creamer from International Delight Coffee Man brand of coffee creamer you guys like. Let me know. I'm gonna finish breakfast and then we'll pick up the camera right after. It is 12.07 in the afternoon. Look at this snow. This is all the snow that we got from yesterday. It, mainly in the afternoon yesterday, because that was just coming down. Look at the snow. <laughs> yeah. Everything is covered in snow. Kind of looks like a white Christmas. Why didn't we have this at Christmas time? Christmas, we didn't even have any snow. I'm loving this. <laughs> yeah. So I just came back from a walk with my music. I was just listening to music while I was going out for a walk. I'm loving this. I didn't go too far because uh, the uh, sidewalk isn't plowed, so couldn't go too far, but I went for a small walk. It's not bad, it's like, a little cold, but not too cold. How is everyone doing today? Are you guys enjoying the snow? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, I love this. 
CB12 approved. <laughs> now I'm having lunch and I'm having the salad with ground turkey and cheese and my sun-dried tomato dressing. Here's my salad. It looks amazing. Ground turkey, cheese, sun-dried tomato dressing, romaine lettuce, vegetables. Let's eat. But it's four o'clock and I'm gonna get my chicken prepared and I'm gonna put it in the oven so that way I can just turn it on and have dinner about 5, 5.30. So the chicken that I got yesterday was these, so I'm gonna cook them tonight. We're gonna add some oil and then we're gonna add some seasoning, some St. Hubert barbecue seasoning, some onion salt, pepper, um, maybe some garlic, some granulated garlic. So now I got my chicken in the oven. I just added some Herbe de Provence, onion salt and pepper. And now I'm making my rice. I'm making the Uncle Ben. This is the Chinese style fried rice. This is the fast and fancy Ben's original, so Uncle Ben. So I got this from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Can't beat that, so I got uh, so I got four of them, I think a couple days ago, and I'm making two today because I love rice. <laughs> rice and chicken and broccoli. So I just got done uploading yesterday's vlog, so if you guys haven't yet checked out that vlog, link will be in the top of the description. Also check out the playlist of my daily vlogging and Vlogmas 2020 and 2021. All links in the top of the description. So here is dinner. We got some chicken, roasted broccoli, and some rice. I'm gonna say the one thing that I've always said when it comes to eating and I'm about to eat. Bon appetit, everyone, and let me know in the comment section below on what you guys are having for dinner. Let's talk about it because your recipes might be something that I want to try, and I want to try out your recipes. Let me know. I got my dinner. Here it is. Some chicken some rice and some roasted broccoli so we're gonna eat with you guys so how is everyone doing today just uploaded the vlog i uploaded the review for today it will be on the bang energy so feel free to check it out i'll leave those two links in the top of the description so you guys can check it out hmm. roasted broccoli is so good so Let's try some of the rice. Mm. The rice is so good. Let's try some of the chicken. I actually took off the skin. Hmm. The chicken is so good, moist. Mm. Back with flavor. I added some of the Herbe de Provence, salt and pepper. Yeah, these are so good. I picked these up for like under $5. It was like marked down $8 plus 40% off or minus 40% off. So good. Let's have some more rice. Yeah, so today we didn't do much. We did the uh, local newspaper. Uh, tomorrow I don't have any papers at all. Tomorrow may not be that exciting for vlogging. Roasted broccoli is like one of my favorite vegetables. I love broccoli just by itself, but cooked roasted broccoli is fantastic. This dinner tonight is completely different than any other dinners that I've had. And just as much flavor as any other dinners I had. Celebrate steak was good too. This is the herb de Provence. That's what it does it. It's so hot, but it's so good.
chicken. Wow. I love the chicken thighs because they have so much flavor and not a lot of people are thinking about using them. This is the first time I've actually had halal. I think that's how it's pronounced, halal. I'm not even sure what the difference is. If anyone can let me know, that'd be great. I didn't have a napkin, but I have a paper towel over here. That dinner was amazing. The chicken, um, the only thing that I did with the chicken is I added some oil, some Bissell oil, just a little bit, just to brush on top of the chicken. I did remove the skin, which I thought initially, I thought by removing the skin, it would tend to be dry, but the chicken was still moist. The Bissell oil, the salt and pepper, and some Herbe de Provence. That's what really did it, the Herbe de Provence. Fantastic, I absolutely loved it. The rice, it was something completely different that I've never had in a while, in a long time. We're always like meat, potato, meat, potato. We've never really have anything like rice. So I'm definitely glad that I actually had this for dinner tonight with some roasted broccoli. We're always like corn, but broccoli was a nice difference in dinner time. So I'm not sure what else I'll be doing. I'm definitely gonna have to do the dishes because that's that has to be done every night, right? Let's have some water. Do you remember there was a comment or maybe I had a message that I had received when it was asking me if I still use BioSteel or do I still drink BioSteel? And yes, I do. I'm definitely running out. I'm definitely needing to go buy some more. I actually heard BioSteel is now available at the Dollarama because I had received an email from BioSteel letting me know that they do have BioSteel at the Dollarama now. So I'm definitely gonna have to go to the Dollarama and check it out because if they do, I'm definitely gonna stock up from the Dollarama. <laughs> <laughs> just filmed a TikTok on the Javi liquid microdose. This is the mocha flavor. So you guys will have to stay tuned and go follow me on TikTok. That way you guys will find out what my thoughts were on this. I can tell you this, you guys all know I'm a positive food reviewer. So this definitely always gets a five out of five rating, but you guys will have to find out my thoughts and what I thought about it and how I made my coffee. What do you think it's in here? Drop your guesses in the comment section below and then go to my TikTok, follow me, and definitely find out what I put in here. I'm gonna call it a day, but I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. If you guys did, and you guys wanna show your support for me doing these vlogs for you guys, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe as always, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you never miss a vlog. All my links to my social media in the description. So until tomorrow, peace out.